Hello everyone, we are on our fourth day of our Novena to the Holy Spirit. And today we are focusing in on patience. Behind me, you see this beautiful depiction that we had in our church of the baptism of our Lord and the Holy Spirit descending upon him. And the same Holy Spirit that we receive at our baptism, that the word went before us to, as a sign uh, to bring humanity into that, uh, into that grace of God. And so we remember our own baptisms as well. But then today we speak on patience. Patience is a big one, whether we are out driving, whether with family members, whether with our in-laws, whatever it may be, patience is something that we all need. And it may be something that we all need to work on as well. And so today we pray for the Holy Spirit to give us that patience. And like I said before, the Holy Spirit will give you moments in which you must be patient. And at times we will receive those moments and fail, and at times we will learn from the, our past mistakes and be able to become patient, be able to become more kind uh, towards others, and be able to understand where others are coming from and ac accept that coming from the Holy Spirit, knowing that He's helping us grow in that patience. So the next time that you need patience, pray to the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit for patience, but be prepared to be patient in those instances that he sends you. And so we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us bow down in humility at the power and grandeur of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Holy Trinity and give glory today to the paraclete, our advocate. O Holy Spirit, by your power, Christ was raised from the dead to save us all. By your grace, miracles are performed in Jesus' name. By your love, we are protected from evil. And so we ask with humility and a beggar's heart for your gift of patience within us. O Holy Spirit, you give lavishly to those who ask. Please give us the patience of the saints who are now with you in heaven. Help us to endure everything with eternal patience, and that is only possible with your help. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit upon them, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.